Hello and welcome back to Cryptolinium. Today we've got some big stories in the world of cryptocurrency that you won't want to miss. We're talking about how the Fed's latest moves are causing Bitcoin some trouble, massive outflows from crypto funds, and major potential rallies for both Cardano and Solana. So without further ado, please like and subscribe and let's dig in. Our first story today focuses on the potential rate cut by the Federal Reserve, which could spell serious trouble for Bitcoin. Analysts are warning that recession fears are mounting, and while rate cuts often boost risk assets, Bitcoin is reacting with caution. If we see a deeper recession or continued uncertainty, Bitcoin could see even more volatility. Are we on the verge of a bigger correction? So 10x research cautions an aggressive U.S. Federal Reserve rate cut as a signal of economic worry, not reassurance, weighing over Bitcoin and other risk assets. In a September 9th quote to clients, 10x Research CEO Marcus Thielen warned that the supposedly bullish liquidity easing cycle may kick off on a sour note for risk assets. While the 25 basis point cut is seen as a more favorable outcome, possibly leading to long-term price appreciation for Bitcoin as liquidity increases and recession fears ease, a more aggressive cut could have an adverse effect. So if they were to do a 50 point cut, this could signal deeper concerns in the market, indicating a lapse in combating the impeding economic slowdown. This might cause investors to reduce their exposure to risk assets like Bitcoin, something Thielen highlighted as no obstacle to the Fed's decision, as their primary focus might be mitigating economic risks rather than managing market reaction. And while traders currently place the probability of 50 basis point cut at 29%, according to CME's FedWatch tool, 10x Research cautions this, citing it to contrast their view of the prevailing consensus. So if we were to get a 50 basis point cut, just be aware that this might not have the effects that we would expect initially. Next up, let's talk about the massive outflows we're seeing from crypto funds. In fact, crypto funds have just suffered their worst outflows since March. With a few hundred million pulled out, this is largely due to continued regulatory uncertainty and fear of a potential global recession. Bitcoin funds were hit the hardest, but this could present a buying opportunity for those looking to get at lower prices. Will this be a temporary blip or sign of things to come? So looking at Bitcoin spot ETF data, we can see here that there's been about eight days of outflows. Um, you know, this is somewhat normal. We do see many days of outflows as institutions cycle out and back in at better prices, instilling fear in the markets and buying your bags. So if I were you, I would keep buying with the dips, not financial advice, of course. Something that you should see in an interesting animation. Let's look at Bitcoin ETF, Bitcoin holdings. Okay. This starts from the day that the ETFs were approved all the way up until, you know, this last week. Just look at the accumulation of institutions and who's buying the most, who's competing with who. You can see as Grayscale's GBTC starts to decrease. I want to highlight Fidelity over here. BlackRock in the lead. Obviously, BlackRock knows what it's doing. And so from January, Grayscale has downsized its bag. And if you weren't aware why, it's because Grayscale had a tremendous discount on Bitcoin, its GBTC product over this last bear market. And so many people are cashing out, taking profits, while BlackRock and all the other ETFs are gaining footing. Now turning our attention to Cardano. Cardano ADA is back in the spotlight with analysts pointing to a potential mega rally on the horizon. There are three key reasons for optimism, strong partnerships, growing DeFi adoption on the Cardano network and improving on-chain metrics. Cardano is positioned to capitalize on its recent upgrades, the chain hard fork. If you weren't aware, go back and watch our last video on that. And some believe it could be gearing up for a significant move is now the time to load up on ADA. We won't spend too much time on this, but an obvious indicator would be the MACD. You can see momentum is shifting to bullish. We did consolidate from this last spring and the reasons. So we are having a bullish divergence, a strong historical indicator. So this bullish divergence is a term used in technical analysis to describe when the price of an asset is dropping, but the relative strength index, the RSI is rising suggesting positive momentum despite the price decrease. As seen here, you can see the RSI is getting ready to 
you know, pop or maybe even drop. So one analyst has identified this bullish divergence on the Cardano Bitcoin daily chart, similar to what we saw back in 2020. The last time this happened, Cardano rallied over a thousand percent against Bitcoin, an incredible 10x return. While it's hard to predict a rally of that magnitude again, the current setup is promising. Obviously, the second reason would be Fed rate cuts, a catalyst for risk assets. But like we just stated, if they become too aggressive with cutting, just as they were with raising interest rates, uh, we might just see a strong pullback for the short term. And lastly, Snake.Fun launch, a new driver of momentum. So within the last 24 hours, Snake.Fun, a decentralized app or a dApp built on Cardano, went live. This could be a game changer for Ada's ecosystem, similar to how the launch of Pump.Fun on Solana boosted the network in July of 2023. To put things into perspective, when Pump.Fun launched on Solana, the price of Solana saw a 140% increase within two months. Could we see a similar impact on Cardano with Snake.Fun? Given the influence of dApps and meme projects in driving user engagement and price pumps, there's a strong potential for this new development to bring renewed attention to Cardano. Finally, Solana could be on the verge of a huge rally with a 35% price surge predicted in the near future. Thanks to strong market fundamentals and technical indicators, Solana is just one step away from hitting a major breakout level with renewed interest in DeFi and NFTs. The demand for Solana could send its price soaring in the coming weeks. Let's see if Solana can push through this key resistance. So some highlights, Solana's price could rally up 35% to 185 if it closes a daily candle above $138. Solana's RSI has formed a bullish divergence, indicating a trend reversal from a downtrend to an uptrend. And 53% of top Solana traders hold long positions, while 46.7 hold short positions. Today, Solana has experienced a massive price surge of about 5% in the last 24 hours and is currently trading near $134. Meanwhile, its trading volume has skyrocketed by 115% during the same period, indicating more heightened participation from crypto traders and investors. And despite trading below the 200 exponential moving average on a daily time frame, Solana appears bullish. However, its RSI has formed a bullish divergence, indicating a trend reversal from a downtrend to an uptrend. Something else to note, meanwhile, the sole long short ratio stands above 1.12, suggesting traders are showing bullish sentiment. All of this data shows that bulls are dominating the assets and there is a high possibility that Sol could break out of that hurdle for an upcoming price surge. However, this bullish outlook and price surge thesis will only hold if Sol breaks out of the resistance level and closes a daily candle above $138. Otherwise, it may fail. And this is all based on somebody's TA. So again, do your own research and take everything with a grain of salt. That's it for today's top crypto stories. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more daily crypto news. Let me know in the comments which crypto you're most excited about, Bitcoin, Cardano, or Solana. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.